What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review is one that looks super interesting on the cover. I got sucked in. They do it to me every time, but I can't help myself. I'm, and it looked like it was going to be good. Bit of a letdown. I'm talking about the 2021 release of The Nest. I mean, look at that cover. That is brutal looking. Runs at an hour and 40 minutes. It's not rated. I got to give this a 4 out of 10. Um, it's beautifully shot. Great directing work. Great cinematography. The lighting, the tone, the special effects. I don't know what they spent on this budget, but they dumped some change into it. And it looks, looks great. Um, it's definitely an odd one, though. I kind of dug it. I was just kind of torn, though, because, like, the story is okay. I love, like, infestation parts and pirate parasites, like, taking over people. And then it's, like, controlling their mind. So it's, like, it's a weird mix of almost, like, possession as far as, like, paranormal possession. But it's with bugs taking over and possessing these people. And they have their own little clicky language. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Um... Again, great on those fronts. And it features D. Wallace, you know, of course, E.T., Cujo, Critters, um, The Howling. Just a fantastic, fantastic um, actress. And even great person. I've met her before. She's wonderful. And she's still a babe, even at her age, I'll say it. But even with her amazingness, she still couldn't pull this thing up out of the gutter that it was in. Um, not Again, not the worst thing I've ever seen, but not the best. The parasite they used in this was actually a whiptail scorpion, which looks super scary, but actually isn't even harmful to humans, which is kind of hilarious and ironic that they used it. Um, but it's just kind of weak on the story. Like I said, the story's okay. It's kind of weak on that. Um, subpar acting, except for D. She does her thing, but after she gets possessed, she's just doing clicking noises and then not really doing her thing. She's like a zombie, pretty much, of a bug zombie, I guess. I don't know. Um... I will say, overall, it was like being, I don't know, at a white person's like cookout. Like everything was bland. There was no spice in this. It was kind of lame. It is what it is. But, I mean, again, not the worst thing I've seen. That's why I'm giving it a 4 out of 10 because you, you guys nailed it. Knocked it out of the park on the cinematography. Beautifully shot, beautifully directed. But the story just needed a little bit more for me. 4 out of 10, The Nest. 2021 not ready to release if you've seen it comment below i'd love to hear your thoughts like subscribe hit the death bell for notifications i've got more coming to you stick around see y'all